do you know the number one reason that most people fail their citizenship test? Is it because of the new, larger history section? The who we are section? The regions? The justice system? It's not because of any of these, or any other section. To understand why most people fail their citizenship test, we need to look at some numbers. On June 29, 2012, the Globe and Mail reported that the overall failure rate for the Canadian citizenship test was 20%. Among citizens from the UK, the USA, and Australia, it was only 2%. I've known lots of people from all of these countries, and I really like them. But the fact is, they're not that much smarter than everybody else. So how do we explain their very low failure rate? It's quite simple. All of these countries have English as a first language. The article in the Globe and Mail even called the citizenship test a de facto language test. De facto is a Latin phrase that means actually, or really. Canada's national newspaper is calling the citizenship test a language test. You are being tested on your language as much as on the material. ESL learners are at a major disadvantage when they study for their citizenship test. You can't change your language, so what can you do? You can visit Canadian Citizenship Test Kit and let us help you prepare for your test, regardless of your first language. Canadian Citizenship Test Kit was designed and made by an ESL and social studies teacher and his wife, an ESL teacher and immigrant from Taiwan who passed the citizenship test herself in 2013. Canadian Citizenship Test Kit is the only preparation site that is specifically made for ESL learners. We help you learn difficult vocabulary and concepts so you can concentrate on the material and not on the language. Then we help you study with our flashcards and historical timeline. Finally, we have over 650 questions in our test bank, so you can practice until you know that you are ready. We have both free materials and premium materials, which are available for a very reasonable price. So come visit us today and put yourself in the picture.